guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today we're going to do a face mask today's face mask is by so e i think that's the company name and this is called the donkey milk skin gel mask it's supposed to nourish and restore your skin hopefully it's good i'm not i wasn't sure what donkey milk was but donkey milk is actually really donkey milk so believe it or not I didn't know donkeys made milk and does that make me sound silly I have no idea but I had no idea that donkeys made milk so I'm like okay but evidently they consider donkey milk like gold because donkey milk is not they don't create a lot of milk they don't produce a lot of milk so evidently donkey milk for your skin is very very nice for your skin and then also supposedly I think Cleopatra I think that's who I read that actually used donkey milk as well I think she bathed in it so um, that takes a lot of donkey milk to bathe in some donkey milk so Anyway, let's go ahead and get to this mask. It says you're supposed to cleanse your skin. My skin is cleansed and I have applied my serums or my toner. So now we're going to apply the mask to my face by aligning the holes, which is obvious. Now we're going to leave one for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, but when I use in the daytime, it says to use a sun protectant. I'm not exactly sure why they want you to do that. There must be something in here that's going to affect your skin after you've used this. So let's get it out and first of all, see what it smells like. Okay, it doesn't smell like milk because I was worried because I don't like milk. I don't like to drink milk. I don't know about you guys, but milk's not my favorite thing. I've never really been a milk drinker except for when I was pregnant. When I was pregnant, I drink a lot of milk. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It's very slippery and slimy. Oh my. Oh, this mask is very slippery. Okay, so we've got it peeled off the little piece of paper. I don't think we peel it off of anything else. It's a very thick sheet mask. I don't know if you can tell the, the thickness to it or not, but it's very, very thick. So I'm just going to apply this to my face. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. I don't know about you guys, whenever you have sinus problems, anytime you put a really cooling mask on your face when you have sinus issues, it just feels great. I sound like Tony the Tiger when I said great, didn't I? Okay, so I'm going to make sure this is nice and secure. Oh, it's super, super slippery. It's almost slimy. It's kind of gross. It's like it's sliding down. I'm like losing my eyeballs. Get up there. All right, so I've got it on. Now I'm going to leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes, it says. And while it's on, I think I'm going to paint my nails. That's always a good time to paint your nails when you have a mask on. I know a lot of people like to lay back and relax, but as long as the mask isn't slipping and sliding, you can set up with it. But this one, I might not be able to because it's slipping and sliding pretty good. It's trying to run away. It's like Julia Roberts. It's the runaway bride. Oh my gosh, get back here. Okay, so now I have it on. So now we're going to leave this on and see if it improves my skin at all. And then I'm going to take the rest of the serum and put it on my hands. Whenever I have the extra serum, I always put it on my hands because you know what? Your hands can benefit from these things, these products as well. So why not take full advantage of those products? Um, let's see what it says on this mask here first. It says, since ancient times, donkey milk was often referred to as white gold, has been valued for its immerse nourishing skin and health benefits, revered, revered by the likes of hypocrites and Cleopatra. I thought it was Cleopatra. Rich in proteins, minerals, vitamins, and essential fatty acids, bioactive enzyme and coenzymes. It restores and balances in nourishment and moisture to the skin. Um, the skin gel mask fuses traditional fabric sheet mask with a hydrogel technology to improve, I think, am I supposed to peel something else off then? No? No? Okay. Um, it's supposed to improve the skin's ability to absorb into the skin. Okay. Um, it also has um, green tea, salmon egg extract, salmon egg. Ugh. This mask is sounding really gross. It's got donkey milk and salmon eggs. Okay. And then it's got acer saccharum, which is sugar maple. And then it's got tourmaline folk. I can't even pronounce that word. Fusiformis. I have no idea. I'm sure I'm butchering that. I will list the ingredients and everything in the description box, which is a mushroom. It's supposed to extract, deliver youthful, supp supple skin plumped with moisture and radiance for soft, glowing, and healthy complexion. So let's leave this on for another 15 minutes because it's at 15 to 20. So I'm sure we've had it on for at least two now. So I'm going to leave it on and then see what happens here. I may have to lay back with this mask though. I don't think I'm going to be able to set up with it. It's so slippery and slimy, it just wants to go sliding off my face. So I will be back on in about 15 minutes, and in your time, it'll be just like a flash, so hang tight. 
Okay guys, I've had the mask on for 20 minutes, so it's time to take it off. It's still a little bit wet. I did have time to paint my nails and let them dry, so obviously I left it on long enough. I'm going to show you what it looks like up close before I take it off. You can tell that it's still pretty moist. I know a lot of people don't like that word, but it is. Um, so it's very, it's not slippery anymore, so it's, it's stuck into place now, which is good. Uh, so let's peel this off. And then that came off pretty easily. Nothing bad about that. It's just a face mask. And then what I like to do is just pat the rest of it into my skin or just let it absorb by itself. You don't really even have to pat it. You can just let it absorb. I like to push it up close to my ears too because that's a part I think we always forget is near our ears. And then put some under my neck. So that's always helpful too because your neck needs that moisture as well. So while I was like doing the mask and painting my nails, I was like multitasking. I thought I'd go ahead and do some research on like what the ingredients are in this mask. So I'm going to go over them with you guys really quickly. So the first ingredient that I looked up is the fungus, which is the mushroom. Because so I was like, why is there a mushroom in my mask? That's a little bit strange. So it says, a sterilized um, paste made from the fungus applied to burns and wounds will help it to um, significantly reduce the signs of, the significantly heal it faster is what it's trying to say. Um, it can help be helped to use to hydrate and potentially lighten your spot. So that particular mushroom will actually lighten if you have any kind of redness going on in your skin. So that's wonderful to know because I do have a lot of redness still. I mean, my acne is a lot better than it used to be. It's pretty much not even acne now. This is more just scarring. So that's awesome to know that that can help with that. The next thing was the donkey milk. So donkey milk, it says, instead of turning to a chemical-filled skin, skin, I cannot speak today. Instead of turning to chemical-filled skincare and beauty products, try 100% donkey milk, which is packed full of powerful antioxidants and nutrients. These include essential vitamins and vitamins A, B1, B2, B6, D, and C, as well as calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus and zinc. So a lot of people really like think that donkey milk is a very highly sought-after skincare product. Like I was saying, Cleopatra used this skincare product. So donkey milk is actually a really good thing for your skin. So if you were concerned because it sounds really gross, because to me I thought donkey milk sounded gross. But it's good. It's really, really good for your skin. So I recommend trying some things if you can find anything that has donkey milk in it. That's one thing I do recommend. The next thing I will tell you is after using this mask, my face feels so, I don't know, it feels very calm. I, I like my face feels very smooth and calm. Do you know what I mean? Like when you've used a mask and you feel like you're... Your skin's a little bit haywire, and then after you take it off, you're like, wow, my face feels really nice right now. That's how I'm feeling right now with my skin, which is great. The next thing is the sugar maple extract, so which is like actually from a tree, believe it or not. So this is actually used for, it's derived to, it's a natural alpha hydroxy acid that is used in skincare products to minimize and repair cell damage and to cause by free radicals, which free radicals are like all kinds of things in the atmosphere and things like that. I'm pretty sure. So don't quote me on that part, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're talking about. The next thing is the salmon eggs extracts. I was like, again, another really strange ingredient, but this is protection against wrinkles. It helps to, so like if you're someone who is out in the sun a lot, or if you smoke, or if you have stress or improper nutrition, so di dehydration, pollution, there's all kinds of things that salmon egg extract is actually good for. So pretty much salmon egg extract is caviar. So caviar is a big thing like in the celebrity industry right now. So like everybody's using that on their skin because it's like another gold product that people are using on their skin. So this has got a lot of really great ingredients in it. So that makes me very, very happy. I'm actually considering purchasing more of these now because it's got so many good ingredients. And then the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the, um, what was the last one? Oh, green tea. So green tea is basically, it's going to help to reduce puffiness and green tea is good for your skin in the first place. So like if you even drink green tea, that's actually good for you as well. But putting it on your skin is, is an antioxidant. It helps to shrink any kind of things that are swollen on your skin. So again, everything in this little mask here. So it's amazing how many things they packed into this one mask. So I wish they had like a jar of this stuff. I know that this sounds like a very, very nice set of skincare ingredients so I would love to have a jar of this that would be awesome so that's the other reason why I was not minding leaving the mask on for as long as I did because I was like you know what there's so many good things in here I want them to all absorb into my skin because my skin could use those things so if you were considering trying the donkey milk mask I say go for it because it's really really good so just try it and you're gonna love it because it makes your skin feel very nice 
Now, the one thing that they said was to be careful of was the salmon egg. I think salmon egg was the one that they said that you have to kind of be careful of because it is an exfoliant. I'm not sure how it's an exfoliant, but it is an exfoliant. So if you have sensitive skin, just note that it can make your skin a little bit more sensitive because it's like a natural exfoliant. I don't know. Either way, I feel like it's a great mask. I think it's worth checking out. So if you guys try it out, let me know because I'd love to know how you feel about it and whether or not you think the ingredients that they include in here are really good or not. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. <music>